guys, it's Julia. So, I haven't been filming a lot lately. And I really have meant to, and I've really been wanting to, and I've had the time to, but I've been slightly distracted by this little thing called Game of Thrones. <laughs> So I started watching this show a week ago today, and I'm on season 2, episode 4, and I don't know how to handle anything that's happening in this show, and I know there's so much more that's going to happen, and I don't know what to do with myself. Nothing prepared me for this show. So I thought I would share with you guys five things that you should not do when you're beginning to watch Game of Thrones. I would have really appreciated this advice going into watching this show. The first thing that you should not do while watching Game of Thrones is watch it with your parents or your impressionable young child or perhaps your Amish best friend. Oh hey dear. Oh what are you watching? Oh one of your little shows again. Oh how nice. Oh just some Game of Thrones. Oh can I see? It's an HBO show, so it's like they have no limits. It's like anything and everything that they imagine can be put into the show, which means there is nudity, there is brutal, gory killings and like scenes like that. There's a lot of sex scenes, you know, there's some incest. Like they just, they just throw everything into the pot there. So if you don't want to watch with like your little mom or like your innocent like two-year-old. If you don't want them getting angry at you for watching the show or getting influenced heavily by the content of the show, I'd recommend just watching this one by yourself. Tip number two, while watching Game of Thrones, do not establish a favorite character. Here's a little hint for you. They all die. Oh my god, I love this character. What? What? No. 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 That no. That did not have no. George R. R. Martin has no mercy when it comes to writing this show. He will kill off all the main characters and give no crap at all. He will not care. You like this character? Don't get too attached because I guarantee you he will die in an episode to come. Like, there are so many characters that I love, but I can't get to attach them because they're, they're gonna die. The third tip is to not go into Game of Thrones expecting to watch just one. Okay, maybe just one episode. I mean, it can't be that good. One eternity later. It can't end like this. No, no, I must find out what happens. No, come on, damn it. Ah! If you are planning to go in and just watch like the pilot episode, you are sadly mistaken. This show will suck you in because there are cliffhangers like after every episode. You just want to keep watching them and watching them and watching them. And yes, this is the same as a lot of TV shows, but this one is craziness. Tip number four is to not eat while watching this show. You could pleasantly be enjoying your like goldfish crackers or your yogurt or your steak. I don't know. What do you eat while watching TV? Someone can be brutally murdered and you just see everything that is inside of them everywhere. And all of a sudden you look at that food that was on your plate that looked so good a minute ago and you kind of just want to throw up everywhere. Mm-hmm. NDP's got like seven. Screen party of any? Not yet. My fifth tip 
is to not stop watching it because you feel uncomfortable with the first episodes. Porn, that is porn, that's pornography. I don't wanna see that on my screen. I'm never watching this show again. Get me out of here, I hate this. Of course, if you're super uncomfortable and you're just not feeling the show, it's not your sort of thing, you know, it's just like disgusting, you think it's like profound, it's awful, I'm not gonna tell you to keep watching it. Like if you're feeling that uncomfortable, I would just like skip this one, it's fine. But if you're feeling a little bit uncomfortable just because you haven't really seen a show where you see everything on the body and everything that like comes out of the body and all the fun other gore and sex related things that happen in this show give it a couple episodes and I'm about 75% sure that you will be growing accustomed to the kind of pattern that the show follows I know when I started it I was like, oh my god, gore, I can't do this, I, I can't watch all this blood everywhere, I can't watch people getting like sliced in half, I can't watch like seeing all these people like making out all naked and ooh, this is disgusting, but as I continued watching it, I'm like, this is so good, and I'm, I, this stuff kind of like fades into the background, you're like, this happens, but it's okay because it's not the main part of the story. And that is my video for today. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked and let me know down below if you watch Game of Thrones and any tips that you have for anyone starting out watching Game of Thrones because I guess technically I'm still kind of starting out even though it's on season two but whatever. <clears throat> I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!